Okay, so I'm in the X-Fizz lab here. Um, I don't know how much you can see in the camera, but we got uh, the Wingate bikes, we got treadmills for BO2 maxes, we got a Vertec here. I just noticed that we have this Vertec here, so I feel like doing a vertical jump test. So I'm just gonna record it and then I'm gonna post it. So yeah, I just got done sprinting. That's why I'm a little sweaty. So maybe I'm potentiated to jump higher, maybe I'm fatigued. Who knows, we'll see what I can get on the Vertec. Just a tip here when you're measuring your vertical jump on the Vertec, um, you obviously don't leave the ground until your toes are off the ground. You don't jump flat footed like that. You can see the difference. That would be flat footed, but you really jump with your toes off. So when you do a reach and you're making someone do a reach test, don't let them cheat it by keeping their feet flat on the ground. That would be cheating it because I'm not going to jump with my feet flat. So you have to take into consideration that their reach is actually with their toes or their heels off the ground up on their toes. Okay. So this right now, this bird's head is set at uh, 90 inches. That bottom rung is 90 inches, which is seven and a half feet. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough that you guys can hear me because I don't have my microphone, but yeah, 90 inches at the bottom here. I'm gonna go one more time because I feel like you can probably stretch out and get another half inch. Yeah, so I got that. Oh, so I got that blue there. So 95 inches, 95 inches is my standing reach. All right, so now I'm gonna do the jump test. Let's raise this thing to the bottom rung. The bottom rung is 108. 108 inches. I'm just moving the camera so I can get the first second in there a little bit better. So. All right, so the bottom rung right now is at 108 inches or nine feet. That's the bottom rung. All right, jump number one. Oh, gotta get a stick. So reference point, obviously, a basketball hoop or a rim is 10 feet tall, which is 120 inches. So that's 123 and a half standing bird. Oh, got a few more. So this red right here that I haven't hit is 126. How about 125? I'll go till I miss. Oh, I'll go till I miss two in a row. I want to get 126. If I miss this one, I'll I'll be done. Then I'll do an approach jump. Oh, guess I'll see on camera how close I was. All right, now I'm going to do some approach touches. So I kept the vertex staying the same. So it's at 125 inches right now. So that the next rest can put me at 126. If I can hit the red above that, that's 132 inches. I don't have much of an approach. I don't have much of a runway. This will be like a three step with a span on the way. Oh. Right. So that looks like it's 126, 127, 127 and a half for that first one. Oh, I felt it, but I didn't move it. So I can't count it. Got that white too. Uh, 128, 128 and a half. Eight and a half inches above the rim. Good reference point. There we go. Uh, 129, 129 inches. I'll go one more, but I don't think I can get above that. No. Uh. All right. 129 inches is my top uh, approach touch. Go back and look at all this. Um, then I'll have to calculate what the vert actually is. Touch minus your reach. So I'll put that in this video too. Thanks for watching.